Transverse waves are waves where the vibrations are at right angles to the direction the waves travel in. Examples of transverse waves are water waves and all electromagnetic waves, though a simple demonstration of a transverse wave would be moving a spring up and down like so to create this pattern. But why is this a transverse wave? Well, first we should recall that waves are used to transport energy without transporting matter. In this case, the wave is transporting kinetic energy from our hand in this direction. The spring itself isn't being transported in this direction, though. The coils instead move up and down in this direction. The fact that the vibrations creating the wave are perpendicular to the direction it transports energy is what makes this a transverse wave. This is different to a longitudinal wave, where the vibrations would be parallel to the transport direction. You'll need to be able to define what a transverse wave is and how they're different to a longitudinal wave for your exam. But if these vibrations are perpendicular to the direction the energy is sent, then how is this energy moving along the spring? Well, the movement of one part of the wave causes the next part of the wave to move. Let's look at how this works with our spring example. As the kinetic energy reaches this point in the spring, it causes the coils to move up. However, these coils aren't independent. They're connected to these coils next to them. So these coils are about to be pulled up as a result. The coils that have moved have given kinetic energy to the next coils, allowing them to move. And this is how the energy is passed along the spring. But what can we say about the overall motion of the coils in the spring? Well, the matter transporting the wave does not move along with it. In this case, when we move the spring up and down, we find that the matter doesn't leave our starting point. Otherwise, the spring would fall out of our hands. We also find that the matter doesn't gather where we're sending the energy. The coils are only ever moving up and down and will return to their original position once the energy passes. You can see the same thing in, say, a water wave. If you float a leaf on the surface, it will only bob up and down as a ripple passes it. The water itself isn't moving with the wave. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.